Hello, Lou Wallace friends. Welcome to another virtual art lesson. Now, yesterday, well, I should say the lesson for today on the 12th was, you know, I showed you the Van Gogh Museum and I showed you how to get to. So Van Gogh Museum dot NL slash EN slash, um, you know, and I clicked on the collection and it took us to, you know, all kinds of stuff like, um, not just Vincent Van Gogh's work, but other Impressionist painters or another Impressionist artist. Impressionism was a time period of art making and it was specifically how people painted. So Van Gogh painted with a lot of heavy brush stroke, brush strokes. I mean, so basically you can see his painting. So let's look, I clicked on this picture. The paint is usually thick. You can see all these little tiny line marks or these little marks that he used with his brush. Those were called Impressions. And they use all kinds of colors. And that's why I love Vincent Van Gogh and the other Impressionists. So really, um, not just Vincent Van Gogh, Van Gogh is one of my favorites. And I wanna go ahead today and show you a little drawing that I teach every year, kind of based on Vincent Van Gogh's work and his um, sunflowers. So this is one of his sunflower paintings. He did more than one. And this one is pretty famous. There's a few of them that are pretty incredible. And I mean, we're going to draw some sunflowers that kind of look like this, but kind of not. I'm going to kind of, like I said, I'm kind of taking some of the inspiration from Vincent Van Gogh. So we can kind of make our own impressionist painting. And today we're just going to start with the drawing part. So I'm just going to show you how to draw a basic sunflower. How I like to draw sunflowers that are really fun. And, you know, so the first step is pretty easy. Just start off with a circle. You can do that. Do not worry about how perfect the circle is. It's not that big of a deal. If you notice things in real life aren't always picture perfect. You know, the middle of a flower is not perfectly round. Just like my head is not perfectly round. I got an odd head, you know. Don't worry about that. Um, so draw your circle. Now, I think a lot of people, most people, I know I do, learn to draw big flower petals around your circle. So I like to draw flower petals in halves, kind of a curved line, curved line on each side, kind of with like rabbit ears or like a fan. And they don't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it being perfect. They can be really, really wonky. Who cares? You know, that's fine. They don't have to be perfect. Now, after you do this step, draw a triangle between two petals. So watch, for example, I'm going to start at this flower petal. I'm going to go up and come back down. That's it. That's what I mean by a triangle. I'm just drawing the tip. And this kind of makes this flower kind of pop out. And the cool thing is you can continue to do this to make this flower bigger and bigger and bigger if you want it. Now I'm going to show you again here in a minute. But for an example, if I wanted to make this flower even bigger, I could still go between two flower petals and draw another point. You don't even have to do points. You can do rounder points too. So you can kind of keep going to make this flower bigger and bigger. And as you can tell, even if it is a little crooked, it still looks pretty cool. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about being perfect. Okay. So this is a big old sunflower. I'm going to show you the steps one more time. And I want you to practice this. Just try drawing it for fun. And tomorrow we'll talk about color. So draw your circle. Okay. You know, get your family involved. Get your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister involved. Draw these together just for fun. Um, draw your petals. And I mean, even if you draw wonky petals like this, who cares? However you want to draw petals, man. Okay, just to prove my point. You can draw it any way you like. This flower is not funny looking, but who cares? I mean, if I draw my petals in between the petals that I just drew, it's going to start to fill out more. And it looks like a flower. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little different. Sometimes the things that look a little different are kind of the best things you can do in art, you know. So try drawing these flowers, you know. And it's not too bad. Draw a circle. Your flower petals, try to do the middle part, even if you want to draw little tiny ones. Just try it. And I think tomorrow I'm going to show you 
how to use color, kind of like an impressionist, or how Vincent Van Gogh did color. Okay, and I'm just showing you with this little tiny flower, I'm just drawing little tiny points in between each flower petal. If you're confused about that, the beauty of videos, you can rewind it and just watch it again. So try it out. Um, just for fun, I like drawing flowers, I like painting flowers, and I love Vincent Van Gogh's work and other impressionist work. So look at the Van Gogh Museum some more online. It's free. You can look at all the artworks, zoom in on it, look at how all the little details. Practice a little bit of drawing, and tomorrow, the next lesson, I will show you how to kind of approach this with color without just coloring it in. Just a different way of coloring things in. Have a good day, guys. Have fun. Just have a good time drawing. It's not even just for fun, man. That's what the best part is. Have a good day. See you soon.